Hey there, I'm Trisha, aka your geologist, and I call bullshit on diets and wellness trends. I get we all want to likely feel better and look better in our bodies. And often we're looking for what's the trick that's gonna do that for me? What diet am I supposed to follow? I really cringe at the word diet because to me that doesn't feel sustainable. Are you gonna commit to a diet for the rest of your life? If you do, then you're probably automatically making yourself feel bad if you eat something that's not on that diet list program, right? And so with that diet then comes guilt and shame if you ever try to stretch yourself out of it. And that's not good for your body or your mind. Also with wellness trends, if it's stressing you out to try to commit to a trend, it's not for you. I've seen celery juice work for a lot of people and that's great. If it's causing you stress to get to the store to buy the celery to make it every morning and abide by the celery juice rules, then it's not for you. If anything is causing you more stress than it is positivity and good feelings in your body and your mind, it's not for you right now. And maybe it will be. And not all things are for you, even if it doesn't cause you stress. No matter the price, no matter what, if it doesn't actually make you feel good, in your body and your mind, it's not for you. Now let's get back to diets. Just talk about the way that you eat. There's so many different people out there that will tell you, this is paleo is the best way, vegetarian is the best way, this is the best way, even if it doesn't have to do with human rights. Like what is best for your body? And all of our bodies are different. I studied nutritional school and we learned about bio-individuality, which means that there's so many different things that make up what's gonna work for one person and what's gonna work for another. So you always have to be paying attention, does this work for me? And also, is this sustainable? Because again, you might feel great for a couple months following this protocol, this way of eating, but are you going to then feel bad if you go a little bit off it because you're out to eat and that looks good and so then I'm gonna feel bad at my, myself because I should be eating this way. That so much opened up for me in my life when I allowed myself to eat what I actually wanted and not what I felt like I should eat. Then I was able to see, you know what? I want greens, my body's craving greens, but you know what? I also want a hamburger. Who am I? What, me? No. Okay, I'll get it on a gluten-free bun because I do have a gluten allergy. <laughs> but it's so amazing. I now, I'm allowed to eat potato chips and french fries. And I pay attention, that store's french fries don't make me feel good and they don't even taste good enough for me to get. These ones, oh my God, they taste so good and I feel good after eating them. But I'm able to be present to not just, I'm stuffing my face with french fries because I'm allowed, whatever, I'm cheating, it's my cheat day, or I'm having fun today, so whatever, because what comes with that then is later shame and guilt. I allow myself to have what I want and I feel good. And some days I just want smoothies and I do want lots of greens. And some days I want a baked good. You can't just be following something so strictly. And I'm not saying that everybody needs to eat french fries, potato chips, baked goods, whatever. You don't have to do anything. You also don't have to indulge, but you don't have to follow any rules. Be careful of what you're doing with yourself and how it feels in your mind. Because you could eat the cleanest diet ever, the best, most subscribed to your body, blood type, everything meal, but if you're not feeling good in your mind about your choices, if it's causing you too much stress to stick to this thing, then it's not doing the best of good for you. So yes, to putting the best things in your body, to looking to see if that works for you or not. But again, if it's causing you too much stress, if it's causing you stress at all really, then allow yourself to be more free, more flexible, and to let go of any boxes that you're putting yourself in and to also realize that everything might not work forever. A, a diet or a way of eating that worked for you five years ago may not work for you and your body type right now. So you really have to listen to yourself tune in to what feels good for you. And again, it's mind work as well as how your body is feeling. 
And that's why I call bullshit on diets and wellness trends. It's all about you and how you're feeling. Allow yourself the allowance of listening to what actually feels good to you and what your body wants and craves. By the way, I didn't eat fat for like 10 years because I thought it was evil. Now my body craves fat so much. It makes my joints feel so good and alive. <laughs> Subscribe, comment, follow me at Your Geologist, and make sure to tune into my podcast. Every Monday, a new episode goes live with someone that intrigues and inspires me. Claim It is the podcast name. Tune in to you.